Welcome to Paint Secrets Revealed, how to clean painting equipment and store paint. Today we're going to show you a few secret tips on how to store your paint for use the next day and also how to clean your equipment and store it away permanently. So what we're going to show first is storing a roller sleeve for the use the next day. So this is if you're going to be painting walls of the exact same color and you want to store it overnight. So we use a product called Covermate. We don't actually get sponsored by any company, so this is the actual stuff that we use. Uh, so it's quite a handy little product. And you can use it to store a roller sleeve up to around seven days. So to get the roller sleeve off the roller arm, we advise banging it against the like an edge of the rubbish tin. So rather than grabbing the roller sleeve yourself and getting a handful of paint. Once you've worked it down the roller arm, just slide it into the cover mate and then use your thumb and finger to take it off. Now you want to make sure there's a tight seal so the air doesn't get in there. Put it somewhere cool overnight and it's ready to go the next day. Now storing brushes for the next day is pretty complicated. Basically get a warm bucket of water, chuck the brushes in and they're ready to go the next day. All you need to do is give them a shake. Now we're going to show you how to clean the roller tray. Now this job has the potential to be pretty messy so take your time with it and make sure you've got your drop sheet underneath you. Uh, so what you want to do is start with the ripple board. Basically using the brush you want to get rid of any excess paint back into your paint tin. Now there's two different options you can use when cleaning your roller tray. You can actually, once you've taken the excess paint off, you can actually just leave it in the sun to dry and that'll be fine to use the next day. Uh, but if you prefer, you can actually scrub it clean using a warm bucket of water and a scrubbing brush. Just personal choice really. Uh, the paint will build up over time and you'll end up needing to chip it off. So I probably recommended that you actually clean it off. Now to remove the paint from the tray, you actually need to balance it on the four litre tin. Big chance of a hilarious spill here. So always recommend using that drop sheet. Now the tray is ready to be used again tomorrow or you can clean it with warm water and store it away. Now once the roller tray has been cleaned we get to clean the roller sleeve itself and once again we've got a tool for this you can pick up at your local paint store uh, it connects to a hose and it'll actually clean the roller sleeve but before you connect it to the hose what you want to do is remove the actual paint from the roller and you do this by slowly pressing the sleeve down the roller you can see the paint coming out it's going to drop straight into the tin and then you want to have your paint brush handy so that you can actually mop up the ends. You'll notice there's a small hook at the bottom of the sleeve. Now this is used to actually lock the roller frame in. So you want to make sure it's clipped in before you actually attach the hose. And it's simply a matter of putting the sleeve into a bucket, turning on the hose, and the water rushes through and cleans the sleeve for you. Now we recommend using probably two buckets to make sure you get a nice clean roller sleeve. Now you want to check with your local authorities as to how to best dispose of the paint but one good method is actually leaving the paint to settle. Uh, leave it for about an hour, the actual the paint will settle down on the bottom and you can mop it up with a newspaper. And as you can see this is the second bucket now, the water is quite clear and the sleeve is clean. To remove the roller arm basically unhook it and put some water pressure on there it'll slide on out and then you have a beautifully clean roller all you need to do is put that out to dry and you can store it and use it next time now if you're using your brush quite heavily you'll find that it might bend out of shape you'll lose that straight edge that you want for cutting in so to get it back all you need is a bucket of warm water now the warm water itself will actually bring the brush back into shape now if that's not working for you or if you want to give it some extra attention you can actually get a painting comb and you simply run it down the, the painting bristles to straighten them out and you can pick those up at your local paint store. Of course you don't really need to spend the money on the comb. If you've got an old comb lying around at the house, uh, any sort of comb will do. Just basically work it through the bristles, straightens it out, gives it that shape back and if you notice any of the bristles that are not quite conforming, just uh, rip them out. Once the brush is nice and clean, you want to leave it out to dry in the sun and then you want to actually store it in your shed horizontally. You can actually put it back in the original packaging if you like, just make sure it's horizontal so it retains its shape. 
Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, please see our other videos and our ebook at paintsecretsrevealed.com.